Hello, this is the Jurassic Expert here. Hope all of you had a wonderful Halloween last night. Uh, let me just get that in there. Get to that in a second. Uh, so I hope all of you again had a very happy Halloween and I thought just to be fitting for a belated Halloween video, I thought I would put up the STEM uh, Paleontology Kit T-Rex. And for once, I actually have the packaging here with me. So yeah, very rarely, if you've been a subscriber since the beginning, very rarely you know I will have the actual packaging with me. And so, this actually comes in a little, I guess I'll go over the packaging first actually. So let me just move the T-Rex out of the way, which might fall over. And I'll get to why it will fall over in a second. So, yeah, here's the front of the packaging. You got Paleontology, ha. Uh, um, <laughs> very funny. And when I saw that, I found that that was actually quite cute that they had that. So I was like, yeah, I'm definitely getting that once it's... So I've actually had this for a couple of months. And I just never really found the right time until now to actually put up the video. Because I know with the STEM kit videos, unless it's a brand, brand new thing, nobody's really going to watch the video. So I thought for a Halloween special, I would put this video up. So there's the top of the packaging. Here is the back of the packaging where we have the other three STEM kits. And we got the excavate, build, and activate. And easy to assemble yeah um not easy to get all the whatever that is because it isn't exactly like dirt or anything if you know what they make this stuff out of leave it in the comments because it's not dirt it's not like clay or anything and it's not exactly chalk either <laughs> it's really weird so yeah here i guess i'll start off with this so this is obviously a copy and I think I should just tell the truth about what I do because I forget stuff a lot of the times in the videos. Most of the time it is because I very rarely actually film at home where my collection is. I go to another place to film and yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, this is what the front part of it would look like. Really, I had it next to the Velociraptor, and I wasn't paying attention when I was gathering up all the stuff that I was going to use, so really it's the Raptor <laughs> uh, stand. And then I did the same thing for like the little jar that you'd put the thing in, <laughs> um, the, the, the little action button thing. So, I guess I'll go with everything else now. Uh, oh yeah, they did do a nice sculpt for like the wood and everything and they got like the little dress gold symbol. I do like the picture. I kind of wish they used another thing than the promotional T-Rex picture that we've gotten for the past three years. That's another thing I've been noticing kind of about the art style that they've used for some of their products. It's the exact same as the one that we got for from like three years ago but eh, whatever it's not too big of a deal and so yeah you got it comes with this this actually has sculpting on it it's really hard to see but there's like little textures on actually is that intentional or are those just scratch okay never mind those are just scratches i think either there it is supposed to look like wood but it's got like a little sculpted jurassic world symbol in there it's got the bottom that still is very chalky and now my hands are all chalky again after months of not actually picking these pieces up um so yeah this that, and then you got this yeah there you go <laughs> there's still some of that weird chalky substance that god knows what that is um yeah, another Jurassic World symbol. Yeah. So, 
those out of the way, and now my hands are all chalky and lovely. Comes with this jar for that piece that you can take out, but then you have a very weird looking T-Rex with its jaw really wide open. Then you got this stand. I'm going to go over this right now. Um, actually, after I actually go over the stand, they got a nice texture for like a wooden stand if you put together this in like the Lockwood Estate kind of museum area. And they even continue with the sculpt underneath with that wooden sculpt. So, yeah. Okay, you see these pegs, you think, okay, why am I not standing that on that? This is why, whenever I, I've tried putting this on my shelf, and for any collectors that want to position this on their shelf, this is really annoying. So, you push that down, and then, give it a moment, it immediately comes unpegged. This is the same with both feet on both pegs, and it is really annoying, especially when you are trying to position this on a shelf, in the end, it's just kind of standing there, and yeah, you could have that as well. But yeah, it's just really annoying when it can't actually stand on the stand. Um, but going in with the actual T-Rex itself, you do dig it out and you put it together. So there are there might be little specks of the dirt stuff i don't know what that is again <laughs> if you know what this stuff is made out of that they use to bury this in uh leave it down in the comments and yeah the thing itself it was just like a little block and i was like there's no way that t-rex is in there <laughs> but it was and it came in a bunch of little parts so yeah the head sculpt is really nice they did a good job with the sculpting of the bones and the colorations and the bones and everything so yeah got like the little scratches and everything <clears throat> yeah and I recently saw uh, another youtubers video the game beavers video and if you're watching this it would be really cool if you were there you go there, there's your t-rex skull that was missing <laughs> because I'm pretty sure they use the exact same pieces uh, for that and again I think that this is the same one if you've seen my Maisie Lockwood review I think this might be the same skull that they used not exactly though maybe that one was scaled down um, but yeah and for the little action feature that they have before I go into articulation so, you have this, the little button's there, you press down, you press down, and then, it, it is actually kind of a weak bite. Like, hang on. Actually, maybe this might be light enough for it to bite down on. But if I were to get this into a position where it just stays, it wouldn't fully, yeah, like, there. I mean it still closes but you can see how slow that is and the spring mechanism is pretty weak not just for me using it a lot but yeah it was kind of like that from day one and I guess now for articulation oh yeah one thing these are a little disruptive in the sculpt but within making this I could see why they need to do this because if it was all like a weird pegging system like what they have with the rest of them yeah that would be very hard to do <laughs> um so articulation in both arms it can pretty much go yeah about that around there that much there that much and if for whatever reason you want to move this up you can do that and uh, for the neck, you only have these pegs, so it can only move down that much, and it could move up that much, so you could have it looking really high up. Head itself actually has no articulation. Um, body, you could kind of crunch down that much, and it's blocked by that piece. 
and you could lift it up that much, which is actually pretty cool if you're trying to have like a dead dinosaur and it's like the Velociraptor except it's a T-Rex. So, have that go up that much, have it go down that much, there, up that much, down that much. Makes it look really awkward though when you have it crunched, when you have the odd crunch like that. But again, if you're trying to make it look like a dead T Rex carcass, uh, it you can get a lot of cool positions with that. And yeah, if you want it to be like charging, I would say that would look really cool, except you wouldn't be able to do it because of the dang pegs. And then you gotta balance this, you actually have to balance this really in order for it to stand so because the pegs and the stand pretty much do nothing you have to balance it on its own which i've just ruined right now okay so where my thumb was left <laughs> but yeah, and also my the ribs for my T-Rex were a little bit warped. But yeah. Oh, you could see a little bit of that weird substance still lodged in the rib cage there. And yeah, once I get this to stand up, I might actually cut the camera really quickly to get it stood up. And I think I'll do that. So see you in a minute. I'm back. I got it to stand up. It's really a nuisance when you got that. So, yeah, um, and for comparison in size, here it is next to the stem Velociraptor kit. So with the, the stand, which it actually can peg into, Mattel, <laughs> um, if you do, if Mattel does something like this for the 2019 line, make the peg so it, the plate can actually be pegged on so yeah there it is without the stand to show you an even better size comparison i'd say that would be about right for velociraptor and t-rex here it is next to owen for your human comparison and i'd say that would be about right as well and to show scale to a T-Rex, here is the Extreme Chomping T-Rex. Hold on, if I could get the skeleton up front, I'd say this would be the skeleton. This could be the skeleton of the Extreme Chomping T-Rex or the Thrash and Throw T-Rex. Because think about it, it wouldn't be just the skeleton, you'd have layers of muscle and tissue as well. So, yeah. Um... So, yeah. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, I guess I'm a very happy Halloween. And, yeah. Oop. Okay, just knocked the table. Okay. So, <laughs> leaving it off there, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And, uh, oh gosh. <laughs> Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Why can I remember this right now? Uh, click the notification bell. <laughs> Sorry, I had to remember that for a second. It's really stupid that I have to remember that. Uh, <laughs> hit the notification bell make so that you get notified whenever I put up new videos like this. And yeah, I guess. Um, oh yeah, also, I am putting up the Tyrannodon Copter review hopefully shortly after this video but yeah uh as always dinosaurs might be older than you but you are never too old for dinosaurs bye bye